Queen's Gambit declined, Harwitz, main line, 8.CXD5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 strengthens the d4 piece and moves the knight closer to the center while exerting more control over the e5 square. e6 sets up the d7 d5 pawn push and creates openings for the bishop on the dark squares. c4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. C5 attacks the pawn on D4, prepares to develop the knight behind the pawn and opens the diagonal for the queen to develop. Dx C5 captures the pawn and frees the D4 square for white's pieces. Bx C5 wins back a pawn and develops the bishop. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening takes back. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.